Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and in today's video we're going to be talking about our own solar system. Specifically about how unusually weird it actually is compared to everything else. Anyway, welcome to What The Math. So this unusual research comes from my hometown of Montreal and it's actually from University of Montreal where the scientists decided to take a look at something we normally don't consider. They took a look at our own solar system and decided to compare it to a variety of star systems that we've discovered using Kepler telescope and using uh, the knowledge of exoplanets around those other uh, stars within about 4,000 light years of us. So here is, for example, Kepler-11 with its unusual but somewhat similar planets that we've discovered, I believe, in 2011. And this was at a distance of about 1,700 light years. As you can see, there's quite a lot of planets here. And here's another Kepler system, Kepler-186, discovered in 2014. So we've, we've actually uh, been able to find quite a lot of these systems with quite a lot of planets. But here is what makes this study very interesting. Uh, apparently, a lot of these systems have very, very different planetary positions and also planets themselves compared to the Sun, compared to our own solar system. In other words, if I were to take any of the Kepler systems and place them in our own uh, solar system, and we can actually just do this for fun right now by basically kind of positioning them right in the middle of our solar system you'll realize there is actually um, an unusual pattern here um, maybe it's not very visible right now but the idea i'm trying to make here is that a lot of these stars oh wow i totally destroyed my, our own solar system a lot of these stars seem to have uh, planets that will are very similar to each other first of all so here for example we have all of the planets that have relatively similar mass and they actually have a relatively similar position to each other as well so in terms of the actual parameters these planets are very 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 alike there's no uh, serious or large gas giants here there's nothing disturbing this particular star system here's the infamous kepler 186 with its five planets and they also have very very similar structure and also similar mass and here's kepler 11 with its star and its planets, with only one planet being slightly more massive and slightly larger, but nothing compared to what we have in our own solar system. So here the masses uh, of this planet is eight masses of Earth, the mass of this planet is two masses of Earth, and the actual distance between them is uh, not very large either. As a matter of fact, Earth would be somewhere right here. This is where Venus would be. And so a lot of these planets are inside the inner or very, very inner uh, star system here. And this pattern seems to repeat quite a lot in other star systems. On the other hand, you look at our solar system and you find yourself in this weird situation where you have four or I guess two very large gas giants, two somewhat medium sized ice giants and then four terrestrial planets and on top of that none of them are actually in any kind of a pattern or are actually quite far away from each other so the inner planets here the terrestrial planets are way too far away compared to other star systems the gas giants are also in a weird position and as a matter of fact the only um, main theory we have for planetary formation suggests that these should be always formed in a somewhat similar region. So our explanation for why things are so strange in our solar system was that uh, at some point Jupiter actually disturbed various planets and they kind of flew apart. But if that's the case, our solar system is one weird creation. When the scientists in this study actually ran statistical simulations, they discovered that usually a small planet, like for example Mercury right here, would usually have other small planets around them. So there should be like more planets right here inside the uh, Mercury orbit and outside of Mercury orbit. We have nothing here. Either our sun swallowed them or we never had them 
or maybe something else happened. Maybe some of them actually collided with other planets and this is why our planet Earth got its moon. And also similarly, usually in those other systems, planets like Jupiter have really large neighbors very close to them. So as a matter of fact, there should be more gas giants close to Jupiter, even in between Jupiter and Saturn and between Jupiter and Mars. But we have nothing. We did have a, a hypothesis that there was another gas giant that was kicked out by Jupiter, but that was just one, and still, it doesn't really explain why there is so much emptiness in our own solar system. Neptune and Uranus are totally unexplainable at this point, because they really don't make sense either. Compared to something like uh, 355 stars that were analyzed with 909 planets in Kepler catalog, none other looks like this. This is a very unique solar system, a very unique star system that is, and a very very strange place because none of this really makes sense. At least in the perspective of an astronomer that tries to study planetary creation and planetary evolution. So all of this takes us to, I guess, Jupiter and its possible influence it may have had on the creation of our whole solar system and also on how very large gas giants may actually completely change the star system. So we need to find more of these unusual star systems that have very large uh, gas giants in them and try to discover what happened to the other planets in those systems because maybe this is actually what caused our solar system to be so unique and so different and this is what caused our solar system to have these terrestrial planets on the inside that allowed one of them to have life. So for all we know, Jupiter may have actually been res directly responsible for creating life on Earth. Or, I guess, somewhat indirectly, but also possibly directly. So in that sense, we need to definitely study these planets more, and we need to find out more exoplanets and more uh, star systems out there to try to expand our catalog and understand how all of this came to be. Well, that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, and hopefully now you know how unusual, weird, and actually very lucky our solar system is. In the next video, we're going to talk about something else, so do come back and subscribe if you still haven't. I'll see you guys tomorrow, space out, and as always, bye-bye.